Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're gonna look at the unboxing of the Oppo Watch 3 Pro. And as you can see, this is the third version of their watch. First two version um, came by and did not make a big dent in the market, at least outside of the Chinese market. And even this one, I'm not sure they're gonna release it uh, to the wider market outside of China. Um, so as you can see, this is the black version and Oppo this time released at uh, two uh, versions, one Pro and the non-Pro. Today we're going to look at uh, the unboxing of the watch, Oppo Watch 3 Pro. And from the packing, we can see it's a familiar packing, similar to what Apple packs their watches. So let's jump on right away, looking at uh, what we got inside the box. Let's uh, unbox it. From what you can see, this is the main watch here, the case itself. So let's uh, put it aside for a minute here. And apart from that, what we have here is, uh, let's see what we got here. And this is an uh, strap. And it looks like uh, this is a rubber strap, but uh, the quality itself is uh, really good. Uh, apart from this, what else we have here? bunch of uh, paperwork and uh, surprise no apple stickers what else we got here so it looks like a plain set of cables uh, USB C to USB A and uh, the charging case itself why do they make it so difficult to get it out? So that's all we got in the box. So we got a cable, a charging case, the watch itself, a strap, a bunch of documents written in Chinese, obviously. So I'm gonna skip this. Not sure what the sticker is. I guess uh, this is the warranty sticker, right? Bunch of instructions here and uh, talks about sensor, what we got here, and the left button, right button, few other things. Maybe I'll try to translate with the um, Google Translator, but as of now, I'm just gonna put that aside. Uh, nothing else here on the case itself, which came out. So, it's putting aside. And we got this charging case. Not really heavy, uh, but um, the build quality is um, really good. We got a uh, USB-C connector, so I guess the USB-C goes here and uh, we're gonna insert this to a charging brick. And obviously they did not bundle the charging brick along with this watch, similar like other uh, uh, manufacturers, so cannot complain. And just wrapping the watch itself. This is a bit heavy and as you can see this is bit curved the center uh, and a bit thick as well when compared to the Apple watch. So this is the Apple watch what you can see. So the thickness is really big here for the Oppo watch. But I guess um, that's due to the, the, the battery and a few other sensors they Manage to squeeze inside, I guess. Bunch of um, sensors here, um, and uh, the charging pins. So, 
just gonna place it like this and it's a magnetic um, connector so it latches onto this one apart from that um, we got a step um, connector here and this one an ejector tools on this side uh, we have an uh, I'm not sure what exactly but doesn't look like a button for me maybe it's an uh, touch sensitive buttons and this looks like a uh, speaker on the left side and the uh, digital crown on the um, right side and I believe this is a microphone uh, slot so yeah that's all so let's power this uh, baby and see what surprises we have uh, inside the watch Right, uh, just started the charging for this watch and uh, we could see the Oppo logo coming up. And um, the color OS is loading and um, hopefully Oppo will um, load the Android Wear OS uh, when they sell the watch out of China. Just wait for the watch to boot up. And we can see a few Chinese characters and 63% uh, charge Vivo OC. This is the Vivo's proprietary fast charge, I think the flash charge and um, let's see what are the settings options we are given with. Let's change the language to English first and hopefully the first option is the yes. Yeah. And next option is uh, device connect, not sure what exactly the details are mentioned. We'll just go ahead and uh, Click on agree and next is a permission request scrolling down let's agree to that as well enhancement services yes I opt into that and we are given here the screen to scan to download the hate app app so we'll just come back in a minute after setting up the watch all right let's quickly look at the app hate app app uh, as you can see uh, gives us basic uh, health um, options heart rate running steps and few things Look at the fitness, uh, moving on, we got a few options like running, walking, workout, what what you see in Apple Watch, even the medals. So moving on, the Apple Watch faces, or sorry, the Apple Watch faces, uh, quite a few options to choose from, as well as you can download a few things from uh, gallery. Um, in fact, a lot of uh, watch faces from the gallery you can download, and um, from what I can see, there are a lot of free options that you can download. Um, so that's a good thing. You can uh, load up a few um, uh, watch faces. And uh, so in App Market, you can download a few apps uh, from the App Market. But mostly it's the Chinese apps, uh, given Google is not uh, available in the Chinese market. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to change the OS to Android Wear OS and download um, from the Play Store. But as of now, we'll have to stick with um, these apps. And wallet as well, um, you need to turn on the NFC for that. And even after turning it on, I don't think we'll be able to load the um, cards. And eSIM um, supports only the Chinese uh, mobile phones. So couldn't do much on there as well. All right, back after setting up the watch, I uh, found it really difficult setting up with an uh, iPhone. Given the hit up app, uh, app is available only in the Chinese app store. and. Uh, Ended up uh, setting it on Android. It was pretty easy and straightforward. I could have just download the APK and set it up. And with the stop on, you can see it makes it even more bulkier. But uh, when I put it on the wrist, it doesn't look real bulky and it's not really heavy as well. So going on, this is the watch face I have set in. And swiping to the left, it brings up the 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 virtual assistant and few other options, the phone, battery, uh, weather, which you can edit, whatever things you want to see. And then uh, when you swipe from the top, you get the settings option, uh, similar like what you see in the phone, basic set of things, brightness and all those things. And uh, swiping to the right brings up the activity steps and few other health related things. And from bottom, it gives the notification. And uh, we'll see the op uh, upper watch faces and uh, long press on the watch face. It brings up uh, the option to change the other faces. There are quite a few options available. Uh, you can either change it from here or from the 
Oppo um, app, the heat app uh, app. So just uh, defaulting it to the one uh, Oppo advertises its um, default uh, watch face. So pressing um, digital crown uh, takes us to the app center. So it can uh, zoom out or zoom in. And there are a bunch of apps here like the timer and all those things, the standard one set of things and ECG, heart rate monitoring, and uh, App Center as well, where you can download a uh, few other apps, the battery app, and few other things. And obviously, there is an App Center where um, you can download a um, few other applications for you. But since this watch is uh, released only in China as of now, most of the apps are Chinese apps, and uh, I don't think you can uh, download many things uh, that you can use as of now. And just looking at and comparing the Apple Watch, as you can see, the similarities sort of similar, but um, the resolution on the Apple Watch is quite high, is what I can see from the uh, look of it. Um, but uh, Oppo has taken a lot of uh, things from the Apple Watch, from the way the apps are displayed, uh, to the notifications, the settings, and few other things. So. There are a lot of uh, Apple Watch hints here and there in the Apple Watch. But um, app-wise, yeah, there are quite a few uh, apps and mostly Chinese apps. Let's look at the watch outside and it's bright. And as you can see, it's uh, quite reflective, but um, you're able to see what the watch display is. So this is running at the 80% brightness. I haven't still um, put it at the maximum brightness, but um, this is quite visible. All right, so to conclude uh, the video, Oppo Watch is uh, very much worth the dollars you're paying for, um, given its uh, big uh, display and battery and um, a lot of uh, watch faces options. So you can go for it, but there are a few downsides, like even though if you select your uh, language as English, there are a few problems that uh, come up in Chinese and uh, if you're one among them uh, like me who doesn't know to um, read or speak Chinese it's going to be difficult to navigate stuff and a few of the stuff like the eSIM functionality even though the watch has the eSIM functionality as of now it's just limited to three mobile operators in mainland China so you'll have to live with uh, without the eSIM functionality working if you're getting it outside of China and also the e-wallet I tried to add a couple of credit card debit cards from a couple of banks but uh, none worked out so even that option is uh, limited and apps as well um, um, you know you'll not be able to download any of the google um, suit so you'll have to depend on the oppo app store where uh, most of the apps are uh, going to the chinese market so you'll have to live with it um, so if you're okay with that you can buy the oppo watch as of now or else wait until it's released to the rest of the world and hopefully they load up the android Wear OS and uh, you should be able to download the Google apps and general apps that uh, you need it for the everyday things. Apart from that, uh, um, if you want to try something different from uh, what's available in the market or others are wearing, no harm in trying this Oppo watch. It's really brilliant. The build quality is really good and it's worth the money you pay for. Alright, if you like the video, please subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up. And um, until we meet in the next video, see you.